Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Spin boots up. Hi there, mate. You got any games for sale? Yeah, mate. I've got some PlayStation games. Any good to you? PlayStation games? Oh, yeah, I'll take a look at them. Welcome, everybody, to my latest video. Back with some more pickups. So this video is just going to be PS1 games that I've found out and about in the wild. Um, majority of them from a car boot sale. Uh, last car boot that I went to. And, uh, yeah, did really well finding PS1 games. And you don't come across them all that often now at car boots. And uh, yeah, I've got, I think I've got about 15 games or 16 games from the car boot uh, for decent prices as well. So uh, yeah, I'll go through uh, anyway with what I've got. Uh, starting off with a couple that were given to me by a friend of mine that I go to the car boot with. Um, he just had a couple and he said, uh, you know, I'm getting rid of these. Uh, any interest to you? Uh, you can just have them. And I said, yeah, man, I'll take them. So... Uh, first of all, we've got Space Invaders, missing the front inlay, but I mean, it was didn't cost me anything. It was uh, given to me, gifted to me. Um, but it's got the uh, it's got the manual and obviously the disc in there as well. Um, I might see if I can get like a printer a, a inlay cover off for it. But like I say, it was given to me, and then the uh, Victory Boxing. Uh, contender this was also given to me by a friend as well and this one is uh, is complete so uh, yeah happy to uh, to my friend for giving me those really appreciate that uh, moving on to one I had from a charity shop and I think it was two pound and it is complete and it is Disney's Tarzan, not bad condition, and uh, it's all in there, so that wasn't bad for a couple of quid from a charity shop, and then some from a cash gen sort of place. Um, this one was two pound, uh, pit for 3D. Basically, if I haven't got them now, any PS1 games, I'll just uh, I'll pick them up. For the collection and yeah you can say this one was two pound marked with that uh, it needs a case swapping out it's got a damaged hinge but it's uh, got the manual disc so yeah for a couple of quid happy to take that uh, star sweep it's only a my dust game but it looks quite a fun little puzzle game like a sort of anime puzzle game Uh, this one was complete as well, and this one was one ninety nine. Let's see. Uh, the, the most expensive one from this cash gen sort of place. I did spend seven ninety nine on it, but it's uh, it goes for a little bit more than that on eBay. And um, yeah, anyway, it's uh, Gunfighter: The Legend of Jesse James. Not bad condition. You see. A Paid seven ninety nine, and it's uh, it's all complete, pretty decent condition. There is a bit of a crack to the uh, to the case, but um, yeah, I think it's like a twelve to fifteen pound game on eBay, so wasn't too bad picking that up for uh, eight quid. Right now, moving on to the car boot, uh, pick one up on its own. Uh, just come across the store, and there was just a box of DVDs. And this one game was mixed in with them. Um, it's got a broken um, disc tray holder, but I'll be able to, I've got spare ones of these, so I'll be able to replace it. And it's just a Monte Carlo, another Midas Games one. So it's just like yeah, games compendium. So it's just like poker and stuff like that, I believe. Um, two disc game with its manual, and uh, I think that was. I so say was that a pound or something like that? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was a quid. And then uh off 
another chap I see, uh, regular seller. Uh, he goes around buying as well. Uh, and I sort of talked to him, get on with him. And he was he had a stall there as well that day. And he had a PS1 uh, that he was asking. Uh, there was a few games of the PS1. And I can't remember. He was asking for amount for, you know, for the bundle. Uh, but he, I think he had it the last time I was there. And I said to him, I only want the one game. Um, would you sell me the game separate? And he said, two quid. Um, yeah, Spider-Man 2. For the, um, but it didn't come complete. It didn't come with its manual. Uh, but I picked a manual up off eBay. Uh, for, I paid a fiver for the manual. The disc is actually in my uh, PS1 at the moment. I've been playing it. Um, so yeah, that's cost me seven pound in total, five for the manual, two for the game, but it goes for a bit more than that on uh, <clears throat> on eBay. So uh, I was happy to complete that one. And then these next five games um, were from a couple of days ago at the car boot. All the games I'm about to show you now I got from one car boot a few days ago, uh, a stack of ten and a stack of five. For the stack of five, I paid £10 for it, so £2 a game. A few decent titles in here. So you've got uh, Crash Bandicoot 3, uh, Warped, Platinum Edition, Complete. Already got this. Does need the uh, case sorting out. It's a bit broke, but, you know, it's complete. It's manual, big chunky manual on that one. So, yeah. So I thought I'd grab that. One I haven't got. I think I've got the second one, but not got this one. Uh, motor Racer. So yeah, these are all two quid each. They're complete. So that one going into the collection. Another one going into the collection is uh, to the Extreme Rushdown. So like uh, extreme sports, snowboarding, mountain biking, kayaking, stuff like that. Um, not seen this one before. And um, so happy to pick that one up. Nice and complete, pretty decent condition. Uh, surprisingly, not got this in the collection. I sort of got half of it. I've got the disc for it and I've got the back inlay. Um, and that was about it. Um, and it was a platinum, but uh, so yeah, happy to see this one, Crash Bandicoot 2. Sadly, it's, uh, it's got no manual, so I will be looking out for a manual for that. But uh, yeah, that completes all the Crash games now. There will be an upgrade in a second that I'm going to show you on one of the Crash games. And then the last game that I got, uh, like I said, I got five, uh, five games for a tenner. And this is the last, the fifth game. And it's Rayman and Rayman 2. Didn't realise that this one goes for half decent money. I think it's like a 20, 25 pound game. Um, both discs and the manual. So yeah, I was quite surprised on the value of that one. So we're uh, happy to uh, to put that one into the collection as well. And then this next lot and the final lot. Um, I was walking up to a table. And I sort of saw them on the table and saw one game on the top. And as I was about to, to walk up to the table, a ma my mate of mine was actually just looking at them as well. And he sort of asked uh, how much, um, you know, can I have a look at the games because he couldn't get to the table. So he said, do you mind passing them over? I thought, oh, she's beat me to it. And then she, she brought them over and put them on the floor. And he said, oh, he, he knows he doesn't really collect games or anything like that. Just does a bit of reselling. And um, he said, you know, help yourself. He says, uh, yeah, you know, so, he, so he, um, he did a really good deed for me and um, let me basically have the games, um, which is really appreciated. So I picked them all up. Um, they wanted two pound a game. There was ten games, and I ended up getting them for sixteen pound for the ten. So what's that? One pound sixty a game. Um, so yeah, thanks to my mate for letting me have these. Uh, some I've already got, and then to be moved on, and some are from a collection. So without further ado, we've got Tomb Raider Platinum Edition. 
broken case but it's uh, it's got the disc and the manual another one i've already got uh, monsters inc scare island platinum that's complete as well And then we've got Bugs Life. I think I've got this one as well. It's all in there. <clears throat> Rage Racer. I think I've got this as well. This is pretty nice condition again. Um, I believe that's the right demo. The demo was actually in a uh, like a disc case and i said to my mate he was looking through them and uh, actually the, all the the discs in this disc case that he was looking through while i was looking through these games um they were mostly copies uh, but there was a couple of uh, original um discs in there and he asked me if they were worth picking up there was a, i think there was a raymond game tekken 2 and the other game was um was it breath of fire 4 and i said to him yeah yeah grab them like and um i think he paid a pound for the three loose discs and i said to him after i said i didn't want to say anything on the store but i think breath of fire 4 is like loose discs is like 25 30 quid um so he was made up he done me a favor in letting me have all these games but he did all right out of it by getting um you know a few loose discs and one of them had been a half decent value game to where uh, to sell on um so yeah he did okay but um yeah this um, demo disc was in the folder and I, i'm not sure if it is but it's the namco one so i'm presuming it's the right disc if anybody knows if it is the right demo disc to um rage racer let us know but uh actually i haven't looked at my copy yet so i don't know i might be able to find out but that was any that was in with the this deal anyway also i've got this one mickey's wild adventure platinum edition all in there i don't think i've got this one shrek treasure hunt again complete don't think i've got this one rugrats totally angelica broken case but it's got the inlay and you can see it's got the manual disc trouble with these ps1 games in it that most of the time they are broke sadly but um i think i've got a few spare cases knocking about so uh, i'll see if i can uh, fix some of them uh, i don't think i've got this one i haven't checked but i uh, put it in the pile as i've not got it but south park rally i might have it i need to check pretty decent condition again this manual and then these are the two that uh, really piqued me interest and uh, yes yeah, happy to see and um so we've got the big box crash bandicoot i only had the platinum edition of uh, the first Crash Bandicoot, so to get the big box, this was uh, yeah for one pound sixty, and then um, we got the disc manual, and I think that's the right demo. That was another one that was um, in the in the um, disc case. Um, it wasn't actually in here, but I put it in here. I think that's the right one. Demo one. If anybody knows if it is the right demo or not but uh, yeah happy to uh, to put that one in the collection and then this one as well i have got a um, spare case for this and uh, so it will be getting uh, swapped out and it's uh, doom big box doom and you can see it's really broken case but i've got a spare case for this so that will be getting changed uh, changed out and it's got the disc there manual and it doesn't come with a disc at the back so yeah i paid um 
16 pound for the 10 games so yeah a bit of a playstation heavy video this all this was found most of them were found a couple of days ago um and then some you know from the cast gen and uh yeah so yeah that's it for the video um thanks again to my mate i uh, don't think he'd probably watch this video but if he ever does i uh, really appreciate him uh, letting me uh, have these uh these games and um so yeah really happy to uh, stick some more ps1 games into the collection you don't come across them as uh, as often as you used to but um so yeah it's it's really nice to uh it's really nice to find them so so yeah that's it and uh, there will be more pickups uh, to come uh, soon still got a lot of stuff to go through but uh so yeah that's it until next video everybody take it easy stay safe bye bye